Hello, I'm Ashley. I'm the Graveyard Stitcher and I'm just messing my hair up right away. I am making a video for, it's a whip parade, <laughs> end of year whip parade, even though it is technically January 2nd. It's about two or three in the morning. I am tired. I'll give you that much. I have a new ring light, so hopefully lighting is better. I guess I should have tested it before I started my project, show my projects, but yeah, so I'm just going to go over my whips, and then I have, um, I guess, some plans afterwards. Everybody has a lot of crazy plans this year, and I'm joining you guys, you know. I was watching Jen, the caffeinated crafter. She's going nuts, and then Alira is like her friend, and I watch her. She's also going nuts. They're having like a million starts and stuff. I watch Stitches. Bridges get Stitches. She's got a lot of stuff. Hannah, Stitches. It just seems like everybody's like, you know what, 2024, we're going to make it ours by doing every single thing. Like, we're all just going to stitch 700 million stitches this year each, and it's going to be great. Um, Yeah, so let's get into it. So the ring light came with like a stand, but it's so tall. It, it was like above my head. So I just have it precariously placed. I think if I hit the table it's gonna like thwack off or whatever so hopefully you guys don't you know hopefully i'll let it out if if that does happen but hopefully it doesn't um i do have a drink that i will be drinking out of it's in a dickies it's a used dickies cup it's just some green tea raspberry green tea i recommend you people drinking too i just took all my whips out they're not really in order there's 24 of them, so hopefully this doesn't take too long, and then I'll go over the plans, and that will be all. Um, yes, so let's start. So this first one is um, Halloween Platter by Le Petit Croix. Oh, I didn't think about the glitter. <laughs> I think I would know. Um, anyways, it's just this really cute platter, and this is the... Uh, person, Le Petit Croix de Lucie. I don't speak French, clearly. I have this on a, it's a printed Ada that I like accidentally bought. I think it's 16 count. I am not positive. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to put the before here. This is um, not the very before, but this is my 2023 NW, 2022 end of year whip status and then this is what it looks like now and i'll hold the new one here and hopefully the old one over my face um i just worked on this fairly recently i think it was in my last uh video i had this part all done last year and then this year i added this cup and i love it i think if i well not if when i continue to backstitch i'm going to Kind of backstitch where I want to. I feel like this backstitching looks really like shaky or something. Um, and then I was trying to get this cup and this tray done. There's also like a spider over here and then bow. I There's a lot of uh, blends in it. So yeah. Anyways. Halloween platter. By that French name lady person entity. And I'm just going to toss everything over here. I have all the bags to the side, so hopefully stuff doesn't get mixed up. The next one I have to show is Wish on a Star. It's a Mill Hill kit. Um, this is my progress from last year. And then this is where I'm at now. I'll just put this here. It's pretty much done. I feel like I'll, if I, I will probably get to this this year, 2023 and um I will definitely finish it I just have to do more black in the sky I believe there might be a couple more stars this does have beading and stuff and then there is this part wish on a star I'm not sure if I want to do that part because I don't really I mean I really more resonate with the scenery itself and then I don't know if I want to do the beaded border so either way this will probably be a finish this year and then this one was a new start from 2023. 
This is um, Make a Wish by Carolyn Manning. I probably like everybody joined the Manning May sale. That I don't know. I, I guess the girlies, Marjorie, Cam, all them people. Do they have like a name? Can we start calling them the girlies? Do they have like a gang gang name, a band name? I don't know. Um, this is as far as I got on here. And this is all my progress ever. So it's, I love it. I think it's really fun to do each little motif and stuff. Um, it's on, I want to say it's like a 16 count Ada. It might be 18. It's black Ada, obviously. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. I do like a lot of Manning designs, so there will probably definitely be more in my future. This next one is Sleepy Hollow by Glendon Place. I feel like a lot of people know this one. Um, this one is not a new start. Here's the last picture from the year before. <laughs> wow. You know, this is, I'm just so good at this. Um, this is on a volcano stitching fabric. It's a linen and it's just purple color. And I think this is looking so good. I'm just peeking around the corner. I think last year I just had the horse butt done kind of empty and now I have a headless horseman on a horse, empty horse. <laughs> I think it's looking really good though. I'm not going to go into my needle minders and stuff like that. Um, for one, I can't really remember where like all of them are from and I don't want to like misinform you. Also, I haven't bought them recently, so they might be like gone anyways. This next one is called Masquerade. Um, by Chris, it's charted by Unconventional Cross Stitch and Cross Stitch, and Christopher Lovell is the guy that made it. So here is a uh before. Oh no, I think I restarted this from last year. I'm pretty sure I restarted this because I was doing it two over two on thirty two count, but then it was just massive and stuff like that. So it was literally like a blanket. <laughs> I didn't want to blink it. So I redid it into, it's still on 32 count, but it's, um, I did two over one tent stitch and it might be bulky, but for now I'm really digging it. So I'm just going to go with it. And then this is how far I've gotten on it. Uh, this is on a fabric by, uh, I don't know. Okay. What was it called? Let me see. I have notes. You know, you write these notes and then you don't even freaking read them. Um, I don't know where it's at. Okay. Midnight Skies. Two over one. Unconventional. Okay. So it's called Midnight Skies. It was called, it was from Sweet Stash Fabrics and I do like the fabrics. They're really good and stuff, but the company was terrible and I'm pretty, I'm kind of, I feel like she still has people's money and she hasn't given them fabrics or anything like that. So I don't know if she's doing fabric anymore. I don't think so. Um, but she does run a page and I don't necessarily want to, I feel like I've said her name before and stuff. I don't know. It's a whole thing. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> it's just purple and pink. I love purple. I got a lot of fabric in it. I think the 28 2 over 1 and 32 count is looking pretty good. Um, my process, I usually pick a focus and if it's a full coverage, which this will be full coverage as you saw, I usually do a 10%. So this is most likely 10% done, which I guess I could have looked up for you guys, but I don't know. Some people don't really care for the stats and yeah. <laughs> Um, Victorian Charm by Dimensions. This is a new start that I did last year as well. And here we are so far. I'm just using all the kit material. It's just a blue Ada, probably like a 16 count, maybe a 14 count. I really love this kit. I think the light's just kind of washing it out, but it's great and it's really easy. If you are like a strictly um, linen or even weave stitcher, stitcher, if you're a stitcher, just I recommend kind of having an Ada project on the go because they're just kind of like easy to deal with. 
This next one is, I call her Halloween fairy, but she's not a fairy in, I don't know, I think she might be a trick-or-treat fairy or something. This is a Nora Corbett, um, before and, or, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. What it looks like, and then before, the year before. I did a lot of work on her. I think I can finish her, for sure, this year. She has, like, pumpkins. The thing is, she has a ton of chronic. I think there's, like, a moon over here. And she has a lot of beads, but she's really pretty much done. I gotta make her a little arm, you know. I guess I could add some blood and just say that she lost it horribly in an accident. <laughs> she's on some kind of um, lavender even weave, I wanna say. Anyway, she's coming out super beautiful, and I'm happy about it. I'm very happy about it. Put her over there. Um, this New Year's, okay, so last New Year's, there was like a massive snowstorm here and all the power was out. So the house was like freezing. So I packed up my little boxer dog and we went and stayed with my cousin. And um, this New Year's, I was just here in the heater. We, we have an oil tank that runs the heater and we ran out of oil. So last, it was another freezing New Year. So woohoo. I didn't go to my cousin's house though because she wasn't doing anything and it was like 10, 11 at night. We just hunkered down on the couch and cuddled. <laughs> Me and the dog. Alright, this is Daughters of Estuary, which is a new start from last year as well. I just have her head done. <laughs> and it looks weird because I just have like all these threads hanging down. This is a Bella Filipina. Oh, sorry. Bella Filipina. I think this is Mermaid's... Um, uh, I just realized I don't have the little paper out for you. I'll pop, I'll pop a thing on the screen, you know that. Um, this is also from Sweet Stash Fabrics. It's really beautiful. I think it was called Mermaid's Playground or something. And like I said, the it was it's really good quality stuff, but she just doesn't... She just didn't have her stuff together, and like I said, I don't know if she's done robbed somebody or not. This next one is Merman in Blue, which is here. It's from Tilton Crafts. Um, I have it one over one on 25 count, which I think is my favorite. I started one on 28 count one over one and it just seems, it's just a little crowded and I haven't even hit like a really high confetti area. So I don't know. I'm just starting here and I work my way down and I just do cross country in the Q snap and you can see the outline of his little face, head, body area already. This one's a lot of fun. I mean, I think they're all fun. <laughs> Do you ever just really love your whips? You just look at them all and then... If you are not a floss tube person, I recommend just going through all your whips anyways. Just look at every single one of them because as I was doing, as I was pulling them all, I was like, oh, I really want to get back to this one. I want to get back to this one. This is one of my favorites. It's from Thread Geeks. It's called Always. Here's the... the picture and then here's the after and this is where I got to this year I have like a chaotic parking shenanigan mess going on but you can see this I think it looks pretty good I'm stitching it on Ada black Ada and it's um, two threads over I think it might be I feel like 16 count Ada is like my go-to but I'm not stitching any of the black, I'm just putting it on black Ada, and like, I don't know, I think it looks really good, doesn't it? Even looking at it in person, I think it looks great. And this one is my oldest one, it's a Hade. This is, um, I call it Bath Time Mermaid, but I was looking it up and I think it's just called Bath Time. And it's from Heaven and Earth Designs, Selena Fennick. I've had this one for a couple of years now. I messed up and stitched it at the wrong orientation, so instead of just restarting, which I probably should have done, but I'm too committed now, I sewed on extra fabric to the bottom. So it kind of looks funny, but I'm I'm persevering. Uh, I guess I gotta, I don't know, can you see all of it? Boop. I always take this one in the travel piece. I took a kit, I took my RTO kit, traveling this last time I went to my father's house in the car and in the house and it was just too much <laughs> it was 
this is a lot easier. A lot of people ask, like, oh, can you take a hate traveling? And I recommend it because um, I'm doing extreme cross country on this, as you can tell. And I can just take one, like, bobbin. I just pick the highest number and take one bobbin. So I don't have to carry all these bobbins and stuff. And then you can put it on your, if you use Pattern Keeper, you're not highlighting in paper and blah, 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 blah. So I think it's definitely easier. I feel like I filled in a lot of this um, since last year. And then this is where I'm like double layered at because I this is where I attached my piece of fabric onto. So it sucks to stitch on. It's it's thick. So I'm trying to like stitch all this. I'm going to stitch in this these ones. I feel like if I save it till the end, then I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> it's going to like drag on and on and on and on. Anyways, that time we're made one over one, 25 count, easy count. What else am I forgetting? I'm sure I'll look back and go, oh, I forgot to say this and that and whatever. All right, the next one is another Heaven and Earth Designs full coverage. It's um, Witchy Way by Molly Harrison, I want to say. And um, I started this this year as well. So I have like four or five new starts. I didn't even realize that. I'm doing Royal Rose on this. I just have this part. <laughs> just have this sky done. I find Royal Rose really satisfying, but I am really terrified to get like lines here. So, and I usually like you can see here, I don't, I usually go out of the, if you know Royal Rose, just look it up if you don't know it. But um, I usually always kind of like, what is that called? Feather into the next spot. But um, I don't do that downward and I'm considering about doing it downward as well. Anyways, I really like the colors on this one and I wish I were further along. So hopefully this will get pulled as a focus and then I can get at least 10% on it, which will be great. Then this is my next Nora Corbett. It's Miss Beetle. It's on, I guess I should have showed you a picture, but it's pretty much done. I just have like beading, I'm guessing, beading and chronic and backstitching to do. It's on a 28 count gossamer. I wish I would have done it on a 32 count. I wanted to try it on a 28 count. I wanted to try a Nora Corbett on a 28 count, but I shouldn't have picked this one because she has a lot of black. So I did a lot of the black. The black is like two for my first leg and then I went back with three for my second leg because it was um, shining through pretty good. So she's kind of, she's like thick. <laughs> she's a thick girl, but I absolutely love her. I think she looks really good and she'll probably be a finish. And if I finish her, that means like all the Nora Corbett's will be done. So I guess I should buy some more. This is Moonlight Sampler. Um, I'll have to pop up a thing because I didn't pull the thing out, the paper out, and I don't want to wrinkle bags and stuff. But it's Moonlight Sampler by the Blue Bluebell Flower, right? Blue Flower Stitching? Blue Flower Stitching. I need to look on this thing. Blue Flower Stitching. This is 40 Count Veil of Night which I believe is from, not the Stitch Me, who's the other one? Mm. Maybe I'll put in a text of where it's from. Anyways, it's a really dark and it's 40 count, so it is harder to stitch on, but I think it looks so freaking good. I'd really love to put more work on this too. Like I, I think about about all the things um, this was a new start too, so I don't really have any comparison, but, uh, I'm just doing one over one. I think it looks real good though. And then the next one, this was my new start for the new year last year. It's a stamped Pikachu kit from Tapestry Market. Let me get a drink because I feel my like sticky mouth going on here. Okay. These are always hard to tell where the hell you've been and what the hell you did. Um, I'm mo working mostly in this corner now, so it's just blue with white. Oh, I probably posted a picture of what it's supposed to look like. 
It's always easier to see from the back what you did. Um, and there is, a, I did a lot of white over here, so it's kind of hard to see that, but and then I did some traveling. Um, this is fun. It hurts my hands because I don't, I just do it in hand. And like when I'm doing this all the time with my hands, it hurts. Even when I was a child, I'd get like cysts right here from doing this. So if you do it for too long. And then also, um, it's like 11 count and you're doing three strands, I think. And it just, it's a hard to push it and da 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 da. So, either way, it's, um, I think it's going to be great when it's done. And we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be good. This is um, Siren's Lament, which I know I did start last last year, 2022, and I just had like a little start. And I think this one did get called for a 10% finish last on 2023, so here we are. I kind of cropped it. It's longer in the picture, but I took it, I made it more of a square. And this same thing, um, one over one, 25 count. And I guess it looks like I just stitched all the way to this corner. And then now I'm just working down. Um, I really like the colors in this. It's like darks and blues and darks. You know, the darks colors. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this little shark. You know, winder. It's so cute. I really love sharks and yeah. Okay. Um, and then this one is Anchors Away by Susan Bates um, she's on Etsy she has a lot of great things this was originally in a magazine and I had it from the magazine but uh, it was like digital and it was not very clear so I just ended up buying it from her which is fine I'd rather I'd like to support her um and this one is almost done too it's so pretty this is On the Ocean, 14 Count Ada from Fabric, Fabric Flare. It has a lot of back stitching, like these little waves here. There's, it's just all throughout. There's a big banner on the bottom, which you can see I kind of started working on here maybe. And um, I think it just goes across and there's, anyways, there's just a lot. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be done this year. More on that later. Sorry, that looked really creepy. <laughs> um, the next one's called Impossible Love. It's by Heaven and Earth Designs. Another Selena Fennec. Ooh, did I say your Siren's Lament was by Selena? Because it's not. It's by Anne Stokes. But Impossible Love is definitely by Selena. This one I'm kind of going a little crazy on. I have parking. I have working around the border. Um, so I have all these parked threads, but I got all the way across the top and then I got all the way across the bottom and I can't see what's going on. So hopefully I'm showing you properly. I'm going to finish working across the bottom and then we'll work our way up. I have a lot of fun with this one. This one's really satisfying to work on. Um, I do enjoy parking, but I do enjoy it in even across country kind of way. So that whole like, um... Royal Rose thing might be, you know, just not my thing. But, yep, this is Impossible Love. I'll just put that there because I don't want to knock over the ring light. And I'll put this one away for later. So, my last floss tube, if you noticed, I had like five whips that I had to work on. And um, I did. I got all of them worked on. So, this is the Red Mermaid by RTO. It's just a kit. And I'm using all the kit stuff. I thought about re like getting a better fabric and stuff, but in the end, I just persevered. You know, I was stitching these hands, and like when I was stitching it, it's that thing where you're like, "What the? Like this looks nothing like hands at all." Um, but it definitely looks like hands now, right? Like I think it's great. I don't know. She's gonna be so pretty. She has like metallics and stuff too. I know I've seen this done and it's like beautiful. So I got some progress on her, thankfully. And again, this is what she looks like. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. I love mermaids. Mermaids, obviously. 
This is the Christmas delivery. Oh, I didn't grab the thing. It's like if they, I just, if they had paper charts, I just like did not grab them at all. Um, this is Christmas delivery by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I, this, I did start this last year. Um, I think I just had the tree. Oh, I know I just had the tree and then like the little, um, horse was done. But then I added in the saddle and then I added in all this. And this is on a, I think this is 36 count, um, from, uh, Color Cascade Fabrics. But I heard that they have closed down 36 count Stormbringer from Color Cascade Fabrics. I didn't have the best experience with them, but their fabric is like really beautiful. I got three different pieces and yeah. I'm doing one over one on 36 count. Sometimes it feels a little sparse, but then when I take it off the Q snap or whatever, it does seem to look better. So, and then I was like, ooh, did I not leave a good enough border or did I like stitch it wrong? Which is possible. But I think there's only a sleigh in it. Like, I think it's hard to tell because even though there's like 20 stitches in this little head, it seems like it should come out way more. I don't know if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying. If the stitches are tiny, it looks like... Yeah, it seems like it should cover more, but then the tiny stitches don't cover more. This next one is one that I self-drafted or self-charted with, like, pick to pat or something like that. It's not Pattern Keeper... It wasn't Pattern Keeper compatible, like, back in the day, a couple of years ago. I don't know if it is now, and I was kind of debating on getting it redone because it's just a paper chart, and I'm, I'm not stitching a lot of the confetti parts of it um it's called star eater i found it on like red bubble or something and um so anyways it's for my own use so it's not like copyright right this is on a 16 count uh navy blue ada ada hold on <laughs> i only had a couple stars done and this is how it looks so far yeah, I think I had like this ish. Oh, I heard a dog barking. Um, you can see the shark's head is like coming in right here. And there's really not, there's like a couple more there. I have like parkings because it's so hard to like keep track of where the heck everything is. But I think that's going to come out really good. I'm excited to see how it goes. They put out more, the person that did it. I think it's like, I want to say it's Ariana or something. Um, she put out like a whale and a manta ray and all kinds of stuff. So looks pretty good. And then I, in the midst of working on my whips, I was watching, um, needle bug. I think that's her name. Um, I was watching her stitching and it was. What was she stitching? God shed his grace, which I've seen on Leanne stitches who does, uh, she d is on floss too, but she does do, she's the forbidden fiber co lady or creator, producer. I don't know. She also has God shed his grace, but hers is like 1 million stitches. And I thought it was really beautiful. I think it's a really beautiful piece. And, um, but I didn't want to do a million stitch piece. So I saw needle bug working on it and I was like, okay, I want to stitch that and then I saw that she got hers from Artisty so I went over to Artisty and they have like different sizes but I got the large one I believe and all that <laughs> all of that to say is I was like all right well I'm gonna get a full coverage and I should get the full coverage I've been really thinking about so I got both of I got that one and then I got I got moon babies from charting creations and then I just started mooning moon babies because I don't know, you know, <laughs> just justify, justify it somehow. Um, Moon Babies by Charting Creations. Um, this is as far as I got. <laughs> just go on this big story. Uh, <laughs> this isn't typically my style. Like, I don't have rabbits or anything, but they're just so sweet and innocent and babies. And the moon's out and I love nighttime scenes. And then there's like a million shades of purple, so... Yeah, and we have a lot of cottontail rabbits running around, and 
I do have God Shed His Grace, but I'm just going to start that later. <laughs> this is 128 count. I'm doing 1 over 128 count. You know, Hayd and, or I guess, Chart and Creations too, all those people need to get with the uh, easy count people. Because if I were to put this on 25 count, which you've seen a lot of mine have like very short, very narrow borders or whatever. Um, even this, like the top wise, like this is as, like, this is how much it's going to be on the bottom too. And it's like maybe an inch and a half or so. So, but I'm like, do I want to spend a lot of money on more fabric? <laughs> I don't. So I bought a 28 count, even though I usually like 25 count. I've been doing 28 count. It's fine. I feel like it's a little tighter. Well, it's obviously definitely tighter than 25 and I can feel it. But either way, I'm happy with how it go. It went. This is like a, I want to say like a couple thousand stitches. I got, I was going to get to 1% and then I just kept going. So it's probably almost 2%. And it's probably one of the bigger ones I have. I don't really want to get a project that's like greater than like 300,000, even 200,000. All right. And then my second to last is um, Hawk Run Hollow, which I have the paper right here. This is Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. I feel like these are all very popular. I feel like a lot of people are doing the Halloween one, which I definitely do want to do. But I got this one for now. Last year I only did this piece, and now this year I've done this piece, which is the sec second block. So I would have done this first block, but I'm not really sure if I like it, so I kind of want to rechart it. So I just did the second block. I think it looks great. I changed some of the colors. Like the how this barn, it the color is supposed to be like a pink color, like um, like maybe one of these pink colors. And it just, I didn't like it. Like, I I would like a pink barn, but it just didn't seem to go well with this. Like, this is not a Barbie sampler. So I just, this is like 820, maybe? 8, 8, 9, 18? If you really want the colors, let me know. But basically, I just went and I saw this color. So, and then he had green pants on, and but I just gave him blue pants. Because I feel like farmers are going to have denim, like blue denim, not green pants but maybe for a scarecrow um what else did i do anything else anyways this is 40 count sand linen sand yeah um let me look at that because this is okay 40 count sand from lakeside linens carriage house samplings and I really like it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I was supposed to say. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Here it is. I think I did change the color on one of these leaves. On these outer leaves. Because they're two-toned. But the tones are so like close together. I was like, what the heck's the point? Even this one. like I can definitely tell the difference. But it's kind of close and then I swapped this color and this color just to make them a little different but either way I'm happy with it it's a really dense it's not really dense or is it is that how you say dense there's a lot of stitches in here because it's 40 count and then this barn is like full coverage and then the ground is like full coverage and everything is just like full coverage and then I did do the border like separate I know a lot of people like right here I know a lot of people like just save the time and don't so they don't have to switch stitch the top but I don't know I kind of like it I like it like that and then the last one is like a surprise finish um I got a message about the video being too big so hopefully it's still filming this is from lottie.cro there's a three set Ooh, you reflective girl lottie.cro lottie da not lottie.cro and it's called the murder of crows and then these are the two I finished. So we got this one. He's holding cherries. I wasn't sure the coverage that I did. I, for some reason I thought it was two. So if you notice, he's got like a <laughs> thick neck. <laughs> it's a little fluffier on top. And then there's this one with like, I don't know, berries of some sort. They all have a little um, like checkerboard pattern. 
which I didn't notice on here until I looked at the pattern. You can see this, but I kind of want to do them as pillows and I don't really think it adds anything to it. So I'm probably not going to do that. And then I do want to do this October 31st one. He's on a branch, but he also has, um, yeah, you can't even see it on here. On this side, there's like a lot of like lacy black looking stitching, but I'm not going to do that either. I was even debating like taking the branch out, like even though, so right here you can just see the branch. Sorry, this is terrible. There's like a tree over here. There's part of a tree and you can't even see it in the picture, but maybe in real life it's better. I don't know. I was really happy to, like I almost, um, I didn't want a UFO. I was going to just finish this one bird and then move on with my life and just then be done. But then like, I don't know, it was really fast stitching because it's only like four colors. And the bird is just all like basically one color. So either way, that was my sneaky two finishes at the end of the year. And the other finishes I had, I think, I'm pretty sure I finished the dinosaur, ABC dinosaur. And I finished um, Dragon in Wonderland, which was in my last video, which I don't have with me at hand. So if you want to see what that looks like, go watch the last video. And then I just want to show this Christmas present my stepmother and my father got me. It's real Lee's and it's called Night Magic. It's just three cats with a thing. They, I mean, Amazon shopping. That's what I did. I wanted to show an ornament, so maybe I'll get that and then I'll just edit it in. Um, all right, let's just go to plans real quick. So I don't usually count my stitches, but I really want to count them because I feel like it'd be interesting information to know. And then I joined a bunch of groups because last year I joined Magical, Magical Stitches. It's a reading. They were doing like quilting books. Um, I wasn't super interested in the story. And then also I couldn't figure out how to. Usually my process is I pick a whip, like a focus finished whip which I already done that, which would be Anchors Away. So that one's pretty much going to be finished the next time I do a floss tube. And then I pick a couple with it and I'll like work on the focus and then a whip, and whip number one we'll say, and then focus and then whip number two and then focus and then till the focus is done. Or if it's um, a full coverage project, then I do a 10% finish. Um, so I drew Anchors Away. But when I was doing the... Uh, when I tried magical stitches last year, I kind of got lost. Like I wasn't sure how to like mingle my thing with their thing. And I ended up just giving up because, you know, I don't know. That's, that's what you do when you can't do something. You just give up. Don't try. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams, people. You can do it. Um, anyways, so I think I've, have a plan to, to pass that. So I have all my whips written up here on this board behind me and I just have them in stacks like five and five and five. So the, um, one I drew and then the ones that I drew with it, I tucked to the side. So there's five of them, the focus. And then there's like four whips, I guess that makes sense. And then there's like different stacks of five. Um, perhaps I'll just show you, I don't know. I don't know if I can move this ring light. Um, anyways, so if, if the ones in the original group don't reach, um, if the original five don't meet any of the prompts, then I'm going to go to like the next group and then the next group and then the next group. And then, um, when I'm done with these five that I picked, I'm going to slap them all the way at the end. And then when I grab my next five, I'll just pull them all out and put them in the front and then just kind of go on and on like that. So anytime after they're done being worked on, I'm going to put them at the end. So they have the least amount of chance to get worked on. Um, I have all the, okay. So the groups that I joined, I joined whip warriors, which I'd never been a part of. And, um, I guess I don't accept people all the time. So I don't know how I just randomly got in, but Thanks for letting me in. <laughs> they do a lot of fun things. I've, I've only seen Scategories because I just recently kind of joined them in December. Scategories looks really fun. So 
And then I just said I'm to do 24 and 24. If I do any new starts, I will um, only do Whip Warriors stuff on these 24. So hopefully the 24 will be taken care of. But like I said, I have like three or four finishes this year. So hopefully if I do new starts, I can just shove them in there, which they said was fine. And then um, I did join their Aussie road trip, which I've never done a road trip style game before. I did do a little bit of the Alaska cruise part of it. So it seemed fine. It did help motivate me to do stitches because I was like, well, I need to do this or else, you know, I don't know. The world will end. I am going to do magical stitches. They're doing Holly Black, which is more of a sci-fi or fantasy reading. I've never read her. I ordered some books off of Thrift Books, her first three that they wanted us to do and I'm gonna try to do the reading challenges I always do like two or three reading challenges so I'm gonna try to do that um full coverage fanatics they're doing epic journeys challenge I did I do want to participate in that and I'm just gonna participate in it with my full coverages that are on pattern keeper because I do not want to count six thousand billion stitches so We'll see how we can go far, far we can go with that. This year I was originally planning that when I did pull a um, full coverage for part of the stitching group, like the, you know, the five that I pick, I was just going to get it to like a 1% finish. But now I'm just like, when I pull one, I'm just going to finish one of those epic journeys, which it might take a while because like the first one, I have all my shenanigans written down, by the way. The first one is a 6,400 journey, the Silk Road. I don't know what the heck that is. I didn't know what half, I feel um, uneducated because I didn't know what the half of like the top ones were, but the bottom ones, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So anyways, I guess I'll get edumacated. Um, I am going to Disney World in January, so I don't know how it's going to play with all my games. Because it's not really a stitching trip. But maybe, maybe I get more stitching in than I think. Uh, Magical Stitches is also doing a, like, music challenge where you listen to the music and then you have to stitch as many stitches as in the minutes. So I'm going to try that. And then for the monthly prompts for their book reading, I've got all my five whips picked out for that. And then Whip Warriors, the categories group was W, and I got most of them, except I don't have a designer. So I was like, can I, if my designer's a woman, can I use that because it's a W? <laughs> or can I use Witch Elf for Mill Hill because I think they produce, like, it seems like they produce them. And then there's other events. And then um, I was watching a few different people, and they're all doing um, fandom stitching, which I didn't know was a thing. So thanks for telling me. Now... <laughs> And they're doing Disney, so I was like, okay, I definitely want to try that too. So that's like five different pages of shenanigans that I'm doing. And I'm honestly, I'm probably not going to stick with all of them. It seems like in the summer, I just go off the rails because summer is a lot more fun outside, not stitching. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, worst thing that happens is they just kick me out of the group for being um, a slacker. Uh, I don't know. Is that it? Is that all? I'll take pictures. I'll take a little video of the ornament. Don't put this in the video. Just cut it out. All right. Thank you for um, enjoying this whip parade. Hopefully it's not too long. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you were inspired a little bit. Hopefully you'll come back later. And if not, then at least you'll come back in a year from now and see how far I got with everything. Yeah. I guess that's all. Maybe, like other goals I do want to um get better at sewing I've also been dabbling in wood burning which is a lot of fun and possibly toxic but I just wear a mask I guess um I want to sew up some project bags for myself because I do want to do quilting but uh it's hard so I feel like project bags would be like a good thing so anyways now I'm just rambling so thank you Bye.